Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and it's time for a positive spin. Today we're going to be talking about Godzilla 1998, or Godzilla. Now my history with this film, I actually did not see this in the theaters, although I still think it had one of the best marketing strategies ever. I still remember the uh, teaser on New Year's Eve. That was awesome. And it was pretty much a full year from its release. And I remember being excited about it. Now, I did watch this on video when it came out. And I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed that it was different. Being a Godzilla fan, something different for me was kind of welcomed because I'd seen so many Godzilla films that this was just a different take and I was okay with that. I understand why some people may not be, but I was. And I still think it holds up really, really well. So let's put a positive spin on Godzilla. Uh, One of the first things I wanted to talk about was the fact that people have seen the turn on this film because better films have been released around that time and in the future like Shin Godzilla, Godzilla Minus One, uh, Godzilla 2014. A lot of people, that one is very divisive because people said that there was a lot of too much human uh, story and not enough monster action. I sort of understand, but you have to start somewhere. So, I mean, I kind of get it. But, just because better films have been released doesn't mean you have to turn on a film that you like, that may be a little bit outdated. But it seems that to be the trend. And it's a kind of a disturbing one, I think. But anyway, um, in watching this again the other night, I I watched this one maybe once a year, once every other year, and it's amazing because it is long. It's very long. Which is why I probably don't watch it as much as I should, but when I am watching it, I'm completely into the film. It doesn't feel like a two hours and 18 minute film. So. Okay, one of the first things I love about this is the score. And I'm not talking about the soundtrack, although I do have that too, I'm pretty sure. I'm talking about the actual score of the film. It's extremely appropriate and really cool. Uh, The footage in the beginning, the kind of found footage aspect, and how the film is real rough. Um, I like that part of it. I think it's pretty cool, and I think it's kind of inventive for the time. Uh, One of my favorite parts of the film, of course, is the uh, footprint. When Matthew Broderick gets there, he's lured away from... uh, doing a study on Chernobyl worms. And um, they put him in the footprint, and he's not sure what he's looking at until the camera kind of pans back and you see it's Godzilla's footprint. I think that's awesome. Uh, (coughs) Excuse me. Uh, Two of the things um, I really like about this film is the... I'm not sure if I would really call them Easter eggs, but... You see a television show playing Barney, which I think is hysterically funny. And also, um, It Came From Beneath the Sea, which is also a damn good movie. And it's kind of funny that it's playing because it's the same type of film. Uh, It's a kaiju film. Kaiju meaning monster. So, yeah. Uh, One of my favorite parts, of course, is when they're trying to lure Godzilla in. And they put a bunch of fish there, and he's just massive. And it's so cool to see 
him going through the the city chasing helicopters and stuff like that but probably one of my favorite parts is the part with Madison Square Garden when you find out that Godzilla is asexual and is laying eggs and all these eggs in Madison Square Garden and that's fun and all <clears throat> but to see the garden and to see the the time stamp the blockbuster signs the the soda signs i can't remember what it's called now but it's just neat to see all that stuff and to be reminded of the time that it came out i think that's really cool <clears throat> a couple things you may not know about the film uh this was actually kept on the hush the design of Godzilla and what the company did that was making the film is they sent out sketches to a bunch of different companies to see who would be loyal and not give away their design for Godzilla now the thing you have to keep in mind is none of the sketches were the same and none of them were supposed to be of the actual Godzilla although the one they sent to Fruit of the Loom happened to be a sketch that was very close to what Godzilla looked like. And of course, Fruit of the Loom, someone in there leaked the sketch. So you won't see anything, or you didn't see anything at the time, with Godzilla with Fruit of the Loom because they couldn't be trusted. But I just thought that was pretty, pretty interesting. <clears throat> now the director... From Tokyo SOS, um, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, and I think he directed one more, was the only one that kind of gave this movie a pass and said that he enjoyed it for what it was and said that it was um, something different, which he appreciated. And I actually love those films <laughs> that he directed. So to me, that was high praise, I think, because if you've ever seen... Godzilla against uh, Mechagodzilla and Tokyo SOS. They are fantastic films, in my opinion. So, fantastic films in the uh, millennium era from Godzilla. <clears throat> all in all, I think this movie is fantastic. It holds up really well. Uh, another thing that you may not know is that some of the effects were not finished when it went out to theaters. But they did see now I never saw it in the theaters, so I cannot comment on that. Joe actually did see it in the theaters, and I asked him about it, and he said he couldn't tell. But they were touched up for the Blu-ray that came out after, um, which is what I watched it on. So I think the effects hold up great. Um, I still think this is a fantastic interpretation of Godzilla we have 37 other or 38 other Godzilla films to enjoy and watch why can't one be a little bit different that's my question um answer in the uh, description box below but just remember to keep it nice um and don't forget to check out Joe's positive spin for Godzilla Remember guys, physical media matters. And until next time.